I'm here at the RYA Dinghy and Water Sports Show 2023 with David Ellis, who has the Calypso range of weather instruments. Um, can you explain what instruments you have in the range? Yeah, so there's three instruments. Um, there's two which are basically communicating by Bluetooth. One is battery powered, one is solar powered with an internal battery, and the other one is wired, so powered by wire and driven by power through that. They are all ultrasonic technology as well. Now, how does an ultrasonic wind sensor work? It's, to me, you always think wind sensor, moving parts, but this is just sitting there. What does it do and how does it work? Well, that's the beauty of ultrasonic technology. There are no moving parts, so there's no ball bearings to seize, no cups to break or anything like that. So the way they work is there's four transducer plates around the top of internally around here and they're sending sound waves from there to the base plate and they understand exactly the time of flight and the direction of flight of those sound waves so any wind flow that's going over there they're understanding that and they're making turning that into wind speed and direction data so it's a continuously beaming data all the time and does this give really accurate readings so they've got a resolution start up of one meter per second very, very, very accurate, all the way up to 25 metres per second, 50 knots. And what kind of sailor is going to be using these instruments? Well, it's quite varied, really. So you've got, at one end, you've got the racing dinghy sailor, um, who will probably be using the battery-powered one, which has 150 hours of battery life in it before it needs recharging. And that can be taken into a phone, iOS or Android phone, for t pure data capture, or it can be combined with other people's devices on the market to do more sophisticated data capture. And, OK, that's the racing sailor, a coach out on the water. Say you're trying to analyse someone's performance, yeah. would they be using it? Yeah, absolutely. So there's another version, which is this one here, which is Bluetooth driven. It's still Bluetooth driven, sorry, but it's also solar powered. So there's a solar panel on the top with an internal battery. So that's permanently recharging. So on a race committee boat or a coach boat, you could have that on a mast and it will permanently be taking data. So that's a very good coaching aid for dinghy sailors who maybe want to understand how their performance is changing as wind speed changes, but also it's tracking the wind shifts. So if they're doing training on beats upwind and they want to understand where they're gaining and losing, they can look back at the wind track and understand that as well. And a race officer, if they've been given instructions by the class, we don't race below seven knots, we don't go above 25, they've got an extremely accurate data so that they can re repeat to the class, this is exactly what we had yeah i mean there's multiple benefits of exactly that you know if you've got wind speed limits either end of the scale that's take it for and you can prove it with evidence from these devices but also when you print the results at the end of the day you can get the data capture from here down into dot csv excel file and you can have that next to the results so you can see the uh, the wind speed plus the shifts as the as the race went on and it's all date and time stamped and how would a cruising sailor use this kind of data but a cruising sailor can have this, so let's just pick a Wayfarer as a, cruise, as a cruising class dinghy. They can have this solar one at the top of the mast or the battery one, and that can communicate straight to an app, either on tablet or phone, and they can see that live data, as you can see it here, on, on here. So basically it's a, it's a wind, wind speed indicator without any wires, no infrastructure on the boat required. There are some great devices out on the market now where you can get all of this data to be displayed um, and have you been working with those um, companies so that you can display the data from the Calypso devices on them? Yeah so Calypso have got partnerships with Sailmon and Vacaros so there's two racing dinghy sailing brands that are very that are extremely popular nowadays all the way from sports keelboats down all the way to dinghies like MOFs um, but also they they are compatible with, NM, with all NMEA displays and chart plotters so even if you have a basic chart plotter or, or wind display on the boat as long as it's NMEA input you can direct take these into this box here and then into the NMEA network. I have to say it's fascinating seeing how it actually measures that wind data because before now it's just a box and I'm just wondering what on earth it does and so it's really good, it's fascinating to see the insights into that. David many thanks indeed for your time. Thank you thanks Mark thank you very much.